I don't, we don't have to get into a whole political conversation, but I don't know what do you think. He's, he's got the COVID. Or you got any conspiracy thoughts on it? I got all kinds of weird conspiracy thoughts. Okay, let me tell you this. I'm a business owner. I do not own a Fortune 500 company yet. So, me personally, I don't give a fuck who lives in that house. I'm going to make money regardless. And then once I have enough money and power to influence who goes into the house so that it can influence what type of taxes and write-offs I get, then I don't care who goes into the house. But really, people need to focus on who their mayor is, who their city council people are, <laughs> who, who their police chief is. They're so caught up in the president, and so much of that stuff doesn't even trickle down to yeah, hardly affects Joe anything. and Jim and, and, and Nancy, yeah. you know? Like, it does, that stuff doesn't even matter that much. And if you focus as much as you do on who the next president is going to be, on your own personal finances, and building up your family's wealth to where you're not saving money, you're also investing money, that none of that would even freaking matter because it'd be, it'd be a new president and there'd be new laws and you'll maneuver them as they are. And you'll build wealth for your life, for your children's lives, for your grandchildren's lives. But you're so caught up in hashtags and, and clips that you care whether it's Joe or fucking Donald. Like, I don't give a shit. I guarantee you I'm going to be making more money next year than I am this year. And that has nothing to do with Joe or Donald. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> you know, and that, that that's just my take on that. There's, yeah, I, I agree. Well, I definitely agree that the, that the, you know, that people getting so caught up in it, like once it's done, it's whether, because it is going to affect people in some ways, but it's yeah. like, yeah, I do there's nothing that. you can do. Like at this point, it's like, are you going to let that rule over your whole mind and get you so down? Though? I feel, that's what I've seen because, you know, being from Bay Area and like, you know, I'm very uh, left leaning, and most of the people mm -hmm. I know are, and so many people. Are I'm, I'm fairly left, like I said, yeah. for what it's worth. Yeah, but so many people have so much despair, and they like, but then it's like, dude, okay, but, the, but that's just what it is now. So we got to figure out, you know, what are you, yeah, what are you doing, for, not only for yourself, your friends, and your family, but on a local level, you know, if you're gonna get politically involved, that's where there's more impact to be made. That's, and, I think that's, and also, let me say this: I, I, I don't, I don't understand the process full heartedly because <clears throat> I never researched it enough, but I do know a few things. And in the few things I do know, it's funny to me when when people from California are so adamant about how I need to vote because it's so <laughs> pointless to me <laughs> because it's like this, this state has been blue for as long as I've known what blue and red are. 